Hello and welcome to the demo of a new feature in Hotel Friend property management system called Inventory Management. We think that effective inventory management is crucial as it ensures that the right resources are available at the right time, in the right quantity and in optimal condition. That's why we are constantly improving our system and this time we concentrated on our service ordering and scheduling. And today I want to show you the key aspects of this new feature. So we added a new module called Inventory. So let's go to this module and see what we can do. So here I, I, it's the brand new uh, module. I didn't set up anything here to show you all the process. So first of all we can see that we have two tabs, inventory type and inventories. So inventory types categorizing resources into distinct types or categories such as event spaces, spa spaces, amenities, equipment or any other limited resources that can be reserved or allocated to specific purposes for a time frame. And inventory items are individual instances of these units. So let's go and create our first inventory type. Let's call it meeting rooms. We can add any description we want. Uh, we can also specify some article number. It's optional. Let's say, and also we can manage the translation here as well. Let's save it. Right after this, we are able to add multiple instances of the meeting rooms. If we have many meeting rooms, this feature is very nice because I can just create them in bulk. Also, I can add my custom descriptions if I need, but this uh, thing allows me to quickly create a number of these resources. Very useful when you have a lot of uh, items to add. Okay, we created our meeting rooms. Very nice and fast. Now, what can we do next? The next thing is association of our inventory type with a specific service. So let's, for example, go to our services module. Let's find a service meeting package, for example. And we can see here that we, um, we can select inventory type to match with. Let's select meeting rooms here. Also, we have to make sure that we have duration time set for all the price options here. Okay, let's update our service. And let's, let's now create the order of this service. We can select either reservation or create a new guest. I'll just select virtual guest here. Let's select a time, for example, today, 2 p.m. We can select the option here. Let's select 30 people, for example. And let's create our order. Now let's navigate to orders menu. And here, uh, at this place, we added the scheduler that specifically manages all the orders of services that are associated with our inventory types. So I can see here that my inventory types are displayed and all the inventory items. And all the orders that are associated with inventory type will be placed into this general section. It won't be automatically assigned to the specific item yet. It will come in the future, 
But for now, the first um, the first update we're making, uh, just basic functionality. Um, now I can move uh, this order to to the specific inventory type, or I can just open the model and select the inventory type I want to assign it to. Also, I can adjust the start time. So for example, it starts 4.30. Let's save it. Because when you move, you have to consider that this scheduler works um, like by hour. So when you move, it will start from the specific hour. If we need some specific precise time, we can always put it by using this model window. Also, we can navigate to the other dates here, other days, and specific hours as well. Really helps in planning and scheduling. So also, what else we can see and do? Also, we can do all the operations with the items that we can do with any other entity in our system. You can edit it, you can delete it, you can inactivate it. So for example, I want to inactivate my meeting room number 10. I can just move this toggle to the off position. Let's go to the inventory. And we can see that the room number 10, 10 disappeared from, from the scheduler. So again, like we provided the basic functionality to enable more smooth, fast and effective work with all kinds of services that are available, limited and available for a specific time frame. Of course, we'll be adding more and more functionality, more and more cool features um, to this. This is just the basic possibility. And we have to remember that for the better usage, we have to choose the services that have some duration. We have to make sure that we set the duration time in our services for all pricing options we want. So this is pretty much it for this demo. Thank you all for your attention and stay tuned for the next updates.